<clears throat> morning guys happy new year by the way 0725 happy birthday uh, I just witnessed a plane take off out of a military base and it was a prop plane either that or it was a double prop plane or a single I couldn't tell but there's a choo choo train going down the river but he don't sound as heavy as the one that come by yesterday or the other day whenever I made the video. <clears throat> He's not that heavy. Um, yeah, Happy New Year, everyone. Pretty dark out, huh? For 7.30. Hoping to catch the sunrise here. Stand by. Jeez. Deer stink like piss. <laughs> Holy smokes, man. They must have had a fucking pee fest last night for New Year. They must have. Let's continue the hyperbole here. Let's make it the right way to say. Oh, this ain't the right way. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Here's the what? Here's the hill. Here's the well. Here's the hill. Here's the well. Oh, no more hill and well here. Yeah, you guys, it's like going to science class. Someone called me an English teacher. Or was trying to say I'm an English teacher. Huh. I teach all subjects. Might be retarded, but I teach them all. Huh. Oh, wow, look at that. We got a southly gust of wind this morning. I haven't seen that in a while. Haven't seen that in a while. Southwest. Man, I thought the days were supposed to be getting longer again. What the hell's going on? Oh, yeah, man. They are blasting the fuck out of the sky. It woke me up this morning. I'm getting really sensitive to this shit, man. I'm not joking. I'm getting really sensitive. They're blasting the piss out of the sky. Blasting it. You can see it. Oh seven three zero. See if they play taps today on a holiday. I think they turned the speaker system down outside. Wow, the light's shining from the south. Wow, look at that shit up there. Look at that. Just in that one spot right there. That's a little northeast. Just a tad. I'd say about 10 degrees off of straight east. Straight east is right there. It's about 15 degrees off, 17 degrees off. That train's all the way over there that way now. Unless it's another one coming up. Because there's two tracks on each side of the river. There's one on each side. Good fishing down there in that Ohio River, man. It's real good fishing. Uh, one year, man, I think it was uh, somewhere around 2002 or maybe three. 
somewhere around there. Dude, there were so many bait fish in that in this river by this one by this one spot where the Montour Creek comes out. It uh comes out right into the Ohio River down in Coriopolis under the Coriopolis or Neville Island Bridge. Man, the bait fish there was billions of them. Their their names were Shad, not Chad, Shad S H A D. They had like real shiny scales on them, and if you touched them, the scales would fall off. Yeah, man, there were so many of them. And that year, dude, the biggest fish I've ever seen out of out of a river come in. There was even alligator gars that come up through the river, man. I was down there wading in the water at nighttime because I was trying to. I always wanted to catch a muskie, and I never did, man. I hooked one on the line. He come up and broke the water, dude, and spit my damn lure out, man. And it was it was just at sunset. It was it was cool, dude, because it looked like uh you know, whenever they come up, man, it kind of looked like an alligator, man. It's crazy. But yeah, I was actually scared wading in the water that one night, dude. Whenever I seen these fish breaching out of the water, I mean they were breaching out of the damn water, dude. I, I it was it was amazing. But uh, I caught a a walleye one night. I almost lost my truck down the river this night too. I guess they opened the dams and shit, or whatever. And this what the water started coming in so fast, and I, I had my truck down there. Dude, I, the truck almost got sucked away, man. It was fucking crazy. But I caught a walleye down there. It was like 26 inches or something, man, and it weighed almost like 10 pounds. Big freaking walleye. And I, whenever I pulled it out, I was pulling a lure out of its mouth. Some of a bitch snapped at me, man. And I yanked my hand away, and a hook went right through my finger, man. <laughs> Luckily, it come out of its mouth, dude, because that thing would have ripped me to pieces. Literally ripped me to pieces. That's how big it was. It was really strong. It was really strong. I got a picture of it. Matter of fact, it's the taxidermy shop right now. I never went to go pick it up. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit, the lights disappeared, huh? The lights disappeared. <sighs> Man, there's some way some some energy being pushed up in here, I'll tell you that. I will tell you that. Looks like it's gonna form a snow cloud. There's a lot of moisture in the air this morning. It's around 45% humidity. That's a rough estimate. Very little kinetic in the air this morning, I know that. <clears throat> Man. All right, I'm going to pause. Stand by. Hey, you! Hey! Hey, you! Hey! That's cool. Crow, crows come say good morning, sort of. One over that way. O seven four six. No, O seven four five. O seven four five. Hey you Hey Oh wow, I could hear my echo all oh, it's up high today. It's up high. Dude the sky's being blasted, dude. The 
waves are coming straight down. It's not on an angle. They come straight down, dude. Straight down. There's the, the light. The light's coming straight down. I wonder how that works. What is harp? Is that a scalar? Or a longitudinal wave or whatever? I never even looked into that shit yet. I have no idea what the hell's going on there. I definitely need to look into it. It's, that's a hard one to find, though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> that's a hard one to find. That's, that's, that's like fucking particle beam, if I'm not mistaken. Nice. Fucking using particle beam to fucking blast the shit down, and it's coming down right on top of the houses, man. It comes straight down. I mean, straight down. A lot of kinetics picking up a little bit. You'll probably hear it through the microphone. sun should be here man you should be able to see a nice big bright ball of fire back here nothing everything cleared up there's another train he's over there he's coming up towards me no 747 I haven't heard trains like this for a while Listen, see how heavy he is. But, uh, yeah, he's a good seven miles away. I can hear him now. He's, he's a super lot. This is a, this is a, a bigger horn. Hey, you! Hey! Yeah, the, the echoes are going up. The echoes are going up. Hmm. Yeah, I can hear that train chugging along, man, over the mountains over there. I mean, it goes down into a big holler down to the river. It's got to be at least anywhere between three and a half to four miles to the river from here. Down to the Swickley Bridge, right down there. I heard a locomotive, he's getting closer. How are them things running now? Are they, they're diesel now, huh? They're all compression. Temperatures get dropping. It was warmer at 0725 than it is right now. School just started. 0750. Nah, he's not that heavy. He's not that heavy. 
and hear them gliding across the tracks, man. You know what? I might be wrong. Oh, yeah, he's fucking heavy. It almost sounds like an airplane down there. He's heavy. And he's headed up north. Hey, you! <laughs> I wish I had one of them parabolic uh, antennas, man, to pick up the the, the sounds. That would be really cool. Cause I, that video I made yesterday in the morning, you couldn't even hear the damn the birds talking to me, man. Like you, you just it sounded like you just heard me whistling, like like hey, talk to me, bird. I was actually whistling back what they were doing. It's crazy. Couldn't even hear them. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm someone. Where'd he go? Yeah, they must, they must be looking for food. They have to be. Yeah, look at that shit, man. Look at that. That's, that's crazy. Hey, you! Hey! Where the hell's that train going? No way he couldn't have got. He, he was that far away. Or that train's just that damn big. I don't know. I can't see it. I can still hear it though. Hey, you! Hey! That's so cool, man. They like talking from mountain to mountain. They go like 500 yards away, you know? And between 350 and 500. And they just get up on the trees and just start yelling, man. That's cool. And whistling again. Hey, you! Hey, you! Really like that one. He has a great back. Who's this taking off? They're landing. Sounds like they're going up. Yes, they are. That's the military right there. Oh seven five five. That 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 busy on a holiday, huh? Like I said, there was a double prop plane I got earlier on the video. Anyways, about that fishing story, man. 
Um, you should have seen these striped striped bass that were down there in the, um, the striper. Dude, they were so big, man. They were like 30 pounds. They were so freaking big. I didn't catch a huge one, but, you know, every cast down there one day, you, uh, you could have pulled a fish out. You didn't even have to put bait on a hook. All you had to do is throw a bear hook out, and you were catching a fish. It was crazy. But I guess they come in to spawn that year because all the bait fish and shit, man. The fish were so big, man. I never thought the fish were that big except for the catfish. Except for the catfish down there at, uh, in the river, man. They say they're as big as cars down there in this Ohio River. Like divers that went in uh, searching for bodies and shit. Yeah, there's probably a lot of bodies and guns in the bottom of the rivers around here. But, uh, yeah, they were uh, searching and they said that they would come across fish in there that the size of cars. Scared the shit out of them. Because they just sit down there on the bottom of the river and let the food come to them. They don't fucking move. Seen some big steel, or not steel heads, um, flatheads and, um, yeah, flatheads down there, man. They get fucking big. Real big. Like 50, 60 inches we were pulling them out of there, man. Go down there with some chicken livers and shit, man. Oh, yeah. Fucking catfish love chicken liver. Especially when you leave a shit out. Let it get all green and shit for a couple days. You open that lid up, boy. <laughs> it smells like a dead fucking body. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. It's so decomposed and nasty. But, dude, them fish can smell that shit a mile away in the water, dude. They come right after it, man. Right after it. You know, I uh, I put WD-40 on a piece of uh, power bait, I think. Or, or no, not power bait. It was, um, it was a worm I found it while I was at work one day. I turned over logging. It was a huge night crawler. Like, this thing was huge. It had, like, a, like three-eighths of a girth on them, man. <laughs> it was fucking huge. So I took them down to the uh, Montour Creek. And, uh... I cut them in half and sprayed some WD-40 on them, dude. I caught a, like a, I would say at least a 16-inch brown trout on his ass. Some of a bitch come right up to it. That that oil slick hit the water, that fish come right to it. Unbelievable. WD-40, huh? The fuck are they putting in that shit? Probably, the, there's probably ether or some shit in it, you know? <laughs> Something. There's some crazy shit in that shit. And that PB blaster shit. Oh boy. You know, I used to I used to do that painting shit too, man, but I used to work with some some heavy duty shit, some methyl ethyl ketone and fucking xylene. Um Yeah, that xylene's that oily shit. I, that, I don't know if you'd use that for candy coating or not, man. But yeah, the shit I used to fuck with, dude. Wow, dude. Wow. Wow. Bro, you go smell that fucking paint and shit that we used to use for painting industrial steel, like pipes that go underground. Jeez, oh man. Jeez, oh man. And then the, the cocksucker employers were letting us walk around without fucking... We should have had air breathers on like you, like you see in a hospital. Motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. That shit pisses me off. And they had the cheapest labor because they were hiring people from prison, man. You know, paying fuckers ten dollars a fucking hour to fucking get out of a halfway house. So fucking corrupt around here, man. And then at the halfway house, they want to charge you fucking money for rent, that, and then money's coming out of your check in taxes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's the kind of garbage that goes on in the system, man. That is the garbage that goes on in the privatism of fucking prison. Privately owned fucking prisons, motherfuckers, and then and then they're embezzling the money too, sons of bitches. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna have to make another damn video here, cause these boys are fucking going to work. These boys are going to work. 0800 on the button.
Yeah, I remember going fishing down in Florida in the Indian River, catching them sheephead down there. They looked like zebras, and they got human teeth. They had better teeth than me. They had better teeth than me. Dose, trace, cat, cinco, hex, set, oct. Hope you understood all them languages. <laughs> That was about four of them. This video is way too long. Probably got a good shot of my eye, huh? <laughs>